everyone and welcome to namehero.com. In today's video, I want to talk about how to speed up your DNS propagation. Um, a couple months ago, or maybe even up to a year ago, I typed a blog post on this. It's been over a year on how to speed up your DNS propagation and some quick tips and tricks to do this. So let's first talk about what DNS propagation is and then you know why you would need to speed it up. So when you sign up for one of our web hosting packages, and this could be our basic cloud hosting, our reseller cloud hosting, or our cloud VPS hosting, regardless of the package, when you change the name servers to your domain, and name servers, this is what connects your domain to the web hosting. So for example, if your domain's host, or if you registered your domain over at GoDaddy, and you want to buy web hosting from, from Name Hero. You would purchase one of the packages here, and then once you purchased it and were set up, you would have to go over to GoDaddy and update your name servers, and that tells GoDaddy that, hey, you know, you've got the domain, but this is where the hosting is located. It's what connects them, and they're two independent things because, of course, you can register as many domains as you want, and you don't even have to have web hosting for them. It's not until that you want to actually have a website that you have to have web hosting. So with that said, if you're moving hosts, so let's say at GoDaddy, maybe you're using them for hosting and now you're gonna to switch to Name Hero. Once you change those name servers over to Name Hero, it takes some time for it to reflect the new hosting package. And so this period of time is called DNS propagation. And so basically all the DNS servers around the world have to update to so they know that you're now pointing your domain to Name Hero. And so this is um, called caching. So the DNS servers actually cache the records. So they retrieve them and then there's a period of time where they cache them so it's not always constantly retrieving them and makes things slow. And so this is why we have DNS propagation. It takes some time. Now back way back when in the late 90s and mid 2000s, this period could take 24 to 48 hours. So you could sign up for a hosting package and change your name servers and then you had a, this period of waiting time until um, things propagated. So uh, a couple years ago I did a blog post on this and I showed how to use OpenDNS to change your DNS servers locally and um, to point it to OpenDNS to kind of force that change because if you, most likely you're viewing your website using your default ISP's um, name servers or, or um, DNS server. So because of this it, you're actually cached locally so it's automatically going to pull from your current web host and this is can create some um, you know this is what creates that lag so if you change it to say open DNS it gives your system a fresh set of name servers to check from and then you can pull it um, a lot faster so today I want to talk about Cloudflare's um, DNS. They they launched it not too long ago, but it's called 1111 and it's just four ones with no .com or anything. You can type it in your browser and you can see about it. So you can see here, it's introducing 111. You are one step away from browsing a faster, more private internet. internet. So they have an app for your iPhone or for your Android, um, but you can also use this on your desktop. So basically what this does is it allows you to view websites and pull websites using Cloudflare's DNS. Now the advantage to their 111 project is privacy. So your local internet service provider, when they provide you this DNS lookup service, they're actually collecting all that data. So any website you visit, if you're on your phone, any app you download, you know, anything you do is connected to the internet, your IP address is connected to it, and that's what identifies the computer or device you're on or network you're on. And then so anything you're visiting is reported back to the ISP. So in turn, they can actually sell that data to advertisers so the advertisers know what type of websites that you're visiting. So it's like this huge privacy thing. So as privacy is becoming more and more valuable because with this, the way the online world's moving with our mobile phones and smart devices and smart home devices, it seems like privacy is just one of those things that we're losing more and more of. So Cloudflare, they teamed up um, to have this 111 service and they teamed up with APNIC, and that's a nonprofit organization that manages IP addresses for Asia Pacific and Oceania regions. So basically, Cloudflare had the technology and um, they had the IP address. So they had the 1111. Because I wondered that myself. How did Cloudflare get that 111? Well, that's how. So um, because of this project, 
you can actually use Cloudflare as your DNS provider on your computer and they encrypt all that information. So your IP address is actually never exposed. So you can pretty much in, um, browse your sites and without, without the um, concern of that data being sold or um, you know, transmitted to other third parties. And you know, th then people ask, you know, is that even legal? Well, it's most likely when you signed up for your ISP, deep down in their privacy policy or terms, you know, they talk about your um, the data that's transmitted during these DNS lookups. And you know, it's me. You know, I personally hardly ever read all that because it's it's quite long and quite large. So really, you know, what what do the ISPs have permission to do, and what do they not? And this is why we're seeing like big acts like the GDPR um, in the European Union that came out um, last year or late earlier this year um, that really protects um, consumers' privacy. So the um, goal here for Cloudflare is to provide this service, protect privacy, and also speed up your, your um, local DNS. So look, they've got some benchmarks um, compared to your average ISP, Google's public DNS, Cisco's open DNS, and then of course theirs. And so they've got um, their own benchmarks. And you know you can test this on your local NNC. So basically when you switch over to Cloudflare, this means that websites you actually type in will load fast and the same is true for your mobile device um, as well. You know, when you're browsing your apps or using um, your, your web browser, that things are just going to load faster because it takes less time um, for that DNS lookup to um, complete. And you can go to 111141, 1.1.1, and you can read more about it because it talks about how, you know, you look at DNS like it's the Internet's dictionary. So, you know, when you type in namehero.com, it connects to a DNS server. And it looks up, okay, they typed in namehero.com. What server do I point it to? And that's kind of how it works. So, um, you know, here in the United States and around the world, we use domains to connect to our website, but it's really IP addresses that are connecting. But, of course, domains are a lot easier to remember, and that's why we have them. So... That's what DNS basically is. It's the Internet's dictionary. And this allows you to use Cloudflares to look it up quicker and to remain somewhat anonymous. And I say somewhat kind of lightly because, you know, there's, of course, other ways that they can you can be tracked and stuff online. But this at least protects all those um, lookups, all those DNS lookups. Now, if you go to 1.1.1, it shows you a couple um, different operating systems. I'm on a Mac right now, so it automatically shows me my Mac settings. Um, if I was on an iPhone, you can see, I can see these. But where you can just download the iPhone app, which is extremely easy. Same if you're on an Android, download the Android app, and then you just click pretty much connect, and it, it does it all for you. Um, but if you're on like a Mac or if you're on a Windows or a Linux or even want to set your router, then you can just manually set it. So um, once again, this is also good for speeding up your DNS propagation. You just signed up at Name Hero. You change your name servers. You want to see your web hosting right right now. You don't want to wait an hour. You don't want to wait two hours. You certainly don't want to wait 48 hours. So if you change your local DNS servers, that's going to speed this up um, quite a bit. So I'm going to demonstrate this on my Mac here. I just need to open up my um, system preferences first. So I'm going to click the um, Apple up here and then click on system preferences. Now I am running a little bit older version of a Mac. I haven't updated this device, um, but most all of them are the same. So regardless of what version of Mac OS you're running, it's pretty much the same. But you just type in DNS and you can see DNS domains and DNS servers pops up. So we can go ahead and click on DNS servers and it brings us right to where we need to be. And so basically, we want to enter these in here. So we want to enter 1.1.1, and then they have a couple more for redundancy. So we're going to click the plus here, and I'm going to enter one period, one period, one period, one period. Or I'm sorry, I'm not going to enter a trailing period. Um, so that set that one. Now it wants us to add 1001 for redundancy. So we'll go ahead and add that. And basically that means in case for whatever reason your computer or your network can't get to 1.1.1, then it's got a backup. And then they've got a couple more here. They've got an IPv6 version um, on here. And I just lost my system preferences. Let's pull it back. Um, and so we're going to enter that in there. And then we're going to get one more here. So they actually give you four to enter. And again, it's a redundancy type thing just to make sure in case one's unavailable, you have another. So, you know, the more the better, really. And then we click, click OK and then apply. And now we can close out. And that's all there is to it. Now, when I'm using this computer and I go to Name Hero or my any other website, um, it's going to be faster and it's more private of an experience. So again, I said it's not, this doesn't give you completely anonymous um, browsing and stuff like that, but it at least anonymizes your DNS lookup. So when you type in NameHero.com, your ISP doesn't know that it's your specific device going to Name Hero or going to Facebook or going to whatever sites that you're visiting. 
Um, I'm a real big fan of the project. Um, again, they launched this a couple months ago, and you know I was really high up on it, and I wanted to get around to filming a video because I've personally, you know, changed my devices to do this as well. You know, and in addition to the privacy, in addition to the speed, there's also you know more security involved. And again, if you download their app, I know they have a lot of information, and I think they've got some frequently asked questions here that you know kind of highlights all the stuff I talked about, and you know how DNS resolvers work and, and all that good stuff. So you know I recommend checking it out. But again, if you're having a hard time getting your um, DNS to propagate or you want to speed it up, you know, you might as well just go ahead. And, and this is a great time to move to Cloudflare's um, you know, DNS server. Because, uh, again, I'm a really big fan of the project. I like where they're going with it. And, you know, I really recommend it for everyone. And, again, you don't have to go back and change anything. You're all set and ready to go after that. And now your computer is just going to run and use those. Um, if you ever do go change your name servers again, you know, maybe you're moving to a VPS at Name Hero, you could actually delete those. You could go back to system preferences and you could type in DNS and we go back to DNS servers and we could actually hit the minus on each one of these and then it's going to default back to your ISP. So, you know, that would, again, that would trigger the change needed to, to flip and, and see the um, updated name servers. Um, so that's also another little trick that you can do there. But again, if you're needing to speed up your DNS propagation or looking for a faster, more secure um, DNS solution, it's definitely 1.1.1. In my original post, I talked about using OpenDNS, which is actually Cisco. And again, we can see the um, comparison on the main page here with Cisco on, um, you know, what that looks like. And if we go back up here, we'll see it. Okay. So Cisco is good, but not as good, you know, and we're, and we're talking milliseconds here. So, you know, you might not notice a, a big difference, especially depending on your connection speed. Um, but you know, the privacy thing in itself is a reason that, um, you know, I want to do it myself. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you, um, I hope you learned something from this. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're all the time posting new videos of, um, tips and tricks for your web hosting experience. And also you def definitely appreciate if you give us a thumb up on the video. Um, and also feel free to share it with your friends, but thanks so much for using namehero.com.